Hey guys, 27 Timmy here. Um, haven't been able to get out too much since my tournament on Saturday. Um, it's only been a few days, I guess. But uh, I figured I'm due for another video since it's been so long since I did one before the tournament. Um, I told you guys I would be doing a bag update. Um, I'm also trying to get a round in with some friends. We're going to try to film it. And I'm going to try to make it a pretty good production of uh, getting this going. Hopefully it's Hopefully it's not super long, maybe a half hour video of uh, just a full round of me and uh, two other guys playing um, at one of the more challenging courses in the cor uh, area. Um, so I'm going to try to get that done soon. I just figured out how I can record um, in my yard with my phone. So I'm going to make a putting clinic and an approach clinic now that I've started to figure out a few things. Um, I've been liking my KC AVRs that I just put um that I just got at the tournament. I've been putting them with them for a little bit now. I got on the course and I played six holes today just to kind of get a feel for a few of the new discs that I just got. Um, but I'm going to do a bag o overview um, because I know some of you guys want it. Um, other you guys might not know what I've been playing. Um, so this is pretty much my same bag. There's just a few discs that I've been taken out and traded for and all that kind of stuff. So. I'm uh, still rocking the orange, yellow, and blue fade tourney bag. I'm never turning from this thing. I love this thing. It's awesome. Um, it's always had what I needed. Um, so I don't need anything more. Um, basically, we'll just get started from the putters. Well, let's start with mini. Still rocking the mustache panda mini. Uh, it's from uh, my first tournament. So that's been my good luck charm. I've kept it ever since. Got a pretty cool one from the tournament I played in last weekend, but... Um, I don't need it, um, so it's just going to be sitting on my wall when I get my new room. Um, but let's start putters. Putters. I told you guys I got my new putters. The KC AVRs, both white, kind of. I don't cream, white, whatever. They've got this pretty sweet um, wing stamp on them. It's like the Air Force stamp, kind of, but it's got a skull in the middle. Um, and they're called the Mayhem Stamps. So that's pretty sweet. Um, I'm loving them. They're both max weight 175 KC AVRs. Um, so that's the big bead mold with the KC plastic, and I love them so far. They've been they they play super stable. Um, I can throw them really hard, and even if I miss the hole, they'll sit down pretty quick, settle, whether it's dirt or grass. Um, I don't know. I'm liking them so far. We'll see how far I get in the season with them. If I really do like them, then I'll probably buy a few more so I can practice with them more. Or if I don't end up liking them, um, either switching back to the magnet or figuring something out. Um, so those are my main putters. <coughs> Eventually, I'm going to turn this disc into an AVR also. It's going to be a KC AVR, maybe a little more beat up. But this is my driving putter right now. It's the um, X-Soft Challenger, Discraft Challenger. Um, it's nice. It flies straight to understable unless I put a big hyzer on it. And I use it as my driving putter, but now that I've got my KC AVRs, I'm going to buy another one, and that's going to go in my bag as a driving putter, because um, the other two are just my regular putters, jumping and long putters. Um, mid-ranges, there was one, uh, actually there's two swaps in mid-ranges. Um, we'll start with, um, I still have my really lightweight beat up um, first ace rock in there. Um, I know it's the bar stamp. People have given me crap about still having it in my bag because it's worth a little bit. But I said, you know, I can't find another disc that flies like this, so I'm going to keep that in my bag. Um, then my other beat up rock, it's another DX rock. This is, uh, let's see, I think 171, which is beat up. It has a nice straight to understable flight. I mean, it flies pretty understable too um, on a good toss. Um, so this is where it differs a little bit. I lost my R Pro Rock, so I ended up having to replace it with an R Pro Rock Plus mold. Um, I'm not too sure what the Plus mold really means. I think though what it is is it's a little bit to do with the rim and how it's angled. That's all I can really notice right now. Um, I'm trying to beat it up pretty quick, so it has a, just a straight flight on it. Um, it doesn't die either right or left real hard. Um, that's what my other my R Pro Rock did. So I'm trying to get that in there. Uh, I still have my Glow KC Rock, um, just for various shots. That these these uh, these two right here, that and my Ontario Rock, those are just discs for feel, a different feel on it. 
So if I ever get real sweaty and the champion plastic gets too slippery, I'll throw my star or my KC, or if I just feel like throwing something different, I've got different rocks in there. Um, then I've got my all one of my all-time favorite discs, my my beat in rock three. This thing weighing it at 170. Oh man, I just love this thing. I think I pulled it a dozen times for tee shots last uh, last Saturday. Maybe even more than a dozen. And I parked it quite a bit. Gave me a few shots for birdies, which was nice. I really like that. Um, so the second change I had is I lost my, um, my new Rock 3. The one I got from my last tournament um, last year. Unfortunately, that was an awesome disc, but I ended up losing it, messing around at the tournament that I played in last Saturday, and so I needed to replace it. So with some of my earning money that I got from the tournament, I ended up got, buying a Verdict. Um, this is a Dynamic Disc Verdict. I was told it flies very similar to a brand new Rock 3. Um, the, the flight on this is it's a Speed 5 Glide 4 Turn 0 Fade 3.5. And if I read it off the Rock 3, the Rock 3 is Speed 5, Glide 4, Turn 0, and then Fade 3. So the only difference is this fades just a tiny bit more. And I was able to get out and throw it today, and holy cow. Like, I liked my Rock 3 because they were stable. This is more stable. And it's like, I could throw this into a headwind, and it would have no problem with a hyzer. Um, so... That was impressive. I really liked it, and it still flew as far as I uh, hoped it would. Um, I didn't want to take any distance off with the Rock 3 um, switching to this, but flew just as far with more uh, stability, which is nice, so I'm going to be able to use that in a lot of different shots. Um, still still one of my favorite discs in my bag, my Lucid Suspect. Um, this thing's 172, and it's just my go-to flex shot disc, whether it's a low hyzer, um, or just like a, a, a shot that I need that's not super long, but I don't trust a putter and I don't want to pull out of mid-range. That's kind of my in-betweener. Um, so then my fairway drivers, I only had one switch in here. Um, I still have my um, Latitude Goldline River. Um, that's just my go-to anti-disc for fairways. I almost never use it. Same with my... Champion e uh, Leopard. I almost never use it, but it's there for those dead straight shots that I need. Um, Champion T Bird came in handy today when I was playing. Um, hole I was about 400 feet um, with trees down the right side. I was just able to flip out a, an Annie, and it kind of flattened out on me and died a little left, but it still got down there quite a ways, which was good. So I was pin high. Um, my classic bar stamp and of a Banshee special edition or whatever. Still loving that disc. It's great for straight shots. Um, I can get it to flip over somewhat, but if I ever need it to hyzer, it, it'll do it for me. But um, I lost my Banshee, my end of a Banshee. I had the orange one with some Sharpie on it. Lost that this year, one of my first times out, so I needed something to replace it. And I heard the Saint Pro. Um, by Latitude 64 was pretty good. Um, I was told it's it's similar to the Banshee. It's not as overstable, but I beg to differ. After I've thrown this thing, it is awesome. Brand new, it's like a beaten Banshee. So I've never thrown a, um, a brand new Banshee, so maybe they are a little more overstable. But this rocked the world. I can trust it on a hyzer all day. Um, I can flip it over a little bit and then have it S curve out or I can't really flip it but I can throw it in an ante and it'll S curve out. It's a great disc. I love it for distance control. Um, I still got both my Valkyries, my real beat up one that's for like kind of flex shots, rollers if I need it. Um, just real, it's a 175 so it's max weight but it's beat up really badly. My Glow Champion Valkyrie, I've had that in my bag for a while, I'm starting to pull it out more and more. I'm really liking it. It flies straight. It's more distance control driver. I'm still rocking the same destroyers. My champion destroyer, a little lighter. It flies pretty straight with a little fade on the end. And then my big hyzer destroyer. Uh, this is a star destroyer Avery Jenkins model. 2009 PDGA World Champion. Um, so that's my big hyzer destroyer. Um, so then the little change for my final drivers is my max distance drivers. I'm still rocking the yellow boss. This is my max distance disc. Um, 
but I still have it in my bag for little Annie's. Um, this is where it's kind of changed. This is my main driver now. It's a uh, G Star Boss. Um, it's 176 grams. 176 just seems to suit my distance. Um, whenever I need to throw real far, if it's an overstable driver and it's like 176, 16, or 167 and 168, those are my distance drivers. Um, the grip on this is just phenomenal. When I grab it, I know I'm not going to lose this. So it, it, it feels really good in the hand, and when I throw it, it's just great. And I tried it forehand today, great. I don't throw a good forehand, but this helps with it being so overstable. Um, so that's my new super distance driver, I guess. Um, that's what I'm going to go to whenever I have an open field shot that I just need to get it really far down there. Um, and then last but not least, I've got my Red Star Boss that I've had in here forever. It's 175, so it's max weight, and it's almost brand new, so it flies super hard to the left. So it takes place whenever the green one isn't a big enough hyzer. You can always pull this one out and trust it in a head one. So pretty much the same bag. I mean, a few differences, just a switched out a rock. Um, lost a rock three and got the verdict in the bag. Um, got the Saint Pro earlier this year and I've loved it so so much or so far. Um, and then the G Star Boss. Um, so that was a great addition to my bag and I can't wait to continue playing them. Um, a, the big change was the KC AVRs. I wanted something a little harder that I can beat in and really make to my standards. Because um, those magnets, they were more of a beginner level level putter. Um, they work, but they're just, they've got a lot of glide on them, which I love. So whenever I need something that's got a lot of glide, I can always go back to them. But in wind, they were just absolutely horrible. And so that's what these KC AVRs are going to be great for. But so that's my update in the bag. Um, nothing real different, pretty much the same layout. And every disc I put in here to change is pretty much either more overstable than the disc that was in there before or it's just to try to replace it. So pretty much that's what I've got. Um, I'm excited to continue playing what I've got. Um, I feel like I've got a pretty solid bag starting off this year. So I just hope that um, my future tournaments I can play well. I'm planning on playing in um, a tournament in August. That's in uh, Louisville, Texas. That's the Dynamic Disc Series. They've got one in Louisville, so I'm going to try to play that. That'll be really exciting. That'll be my first real major event. Um, I'm also going to try to get into uh, Estabrook Open. That's in Milwaukee. Um, that's held by Pandemonium, Pandemonium Discs, so I'm hoping to get in there, and I'm going to play Recreational for the first time. I've been playing Juniors for a while, so it's time to step up and um, I don't throw like a junior anymore, so I don't think I need to be in that. Um, so I'm going to cut out the junior, start playing rec, maybe even intermediate, whatever. I'll, I'll figure it out. But that's my bag. You guys know what's going on, what I'm trying to do for discs, uh, or discs, um, disc golf. I'm trying to get my putting clinic and approach my, my round that's covered. And then uh, I'm also trying to get around to another die because I know someone's wanting me to try to do an American flag. Oh, I, I did uh, those discs for my friend the other day, or actually not the other day, it was a month ago now. The uh, first time I've ever done writing, and the first one I did, I did backwards because I wrote it how I usually would write it. As soon as I put the disc in the die, I realized it's upside down, so when I picked it up, it's backwards. Because when it soaks in, it, it's opposite. So the other few I, I, I corrected, but so there's that one that's funky. But they didn't even care, they thought it was awesome either way. Um, so that's just a tip if you guys are dying, make sure the words are backwards, not correct how you can see it, but when it mirrors onto the disc, it's correctly read there. Um, I'm hoping I can do that American flag soon. I'm going to order some more discs probably tonight. Um, I just sold my lawnmower, and so with that money, I'm going to kind of reward myself and get a few discs. But we'll see. All right, guys. Well, thanks for tuning in. I'll see you next time, hopefully in a week from now. I can be doing a tournament preparation video with putting. I would like to do that, maybe get a little putting um, tutorial in there and showing you how I practice for um, tournament putting. But uh, thanks for tuning in. I'll see you guys later. Don't forget, if you like the video, go ahead and like it. Subscribe to my channel. I've got many videos. I think this is like number 30 or something, so I'm getting up there. 
But uh, yeah, I'll see you later.